I know that there are some youngsters at the back that want to, have been sitting there very patiently, uh, save the planet for the children by the students of Garden International School, Bangkok. I'd like to ask the principal, Mr. David Canavan, to come forward. If you could also bring the children with you. Just for your information, it's an international school, has young students from the age of seven months to 15 years of age, international students. It's a school with a difference. You'll find out more in a moment. David, please. We pride ourselves on being environmentally responsible. We do not use plastic bottles for water. We recycle paper, plastics and metal. We compost, we reuse scrap paper, and after a recent energy audit, we're in the process of installing a system onto our air conditioning units, which should reduce the power consumption and therefore reduce the carbon dioxide emissions by up to 65%. It's these practices and our sustainability philosophy that we pass on to our pupils, thereby hopefully making them environmentally aware citizens for the next generation. Today they will present their views to you and how, of how they see the state of the planet and what the future holds. So please, I'd like to welcome my Year 9 pupils. and we are Year 9 students from Garden International School. We will be talking about the environment and how important it is to us. We feel that the earth is changing for the worse, but being teenagers, we have a voice that isn't heard. Climate change is something that is going to happen for the next century and more, so it will be my generation and our children's generation who will suffer the most. As you can see, the turtle in the picture got caught in a plastic ring and has deformed over the years because of the litter in the ocean. Unfortunately, we are too young to be heard, so by the time we are in positions of power, it could be too late to do anything to help. The point of no return might have already been passed. Now to my classmates, we've chosen the theme, Save Our Home, and taken the letters and have linked them to a topic relevant to our impact on our home. After listening to our presentation, I hope it will give you an increased awareness of our feelings for man's negative effect on the environment. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Florence and my letter is S. S is for severe consequences. Severe consequences will come during our lifetime. This includes more habitat loss, animal extinction, weather changes, and land loss to flooding and desertification. Climate change will have a massive impact on the next generation our generation. If we don't stop our bad practices now, who will? When? <coughs> Serious consequences may be caused by our doings. Reduce the waste we produce, which includes reducing the use of fossil fuels, reuse things such as plastic bags, and be more eco-friendly. Switch off. Switch off and use lights or air conditioning. Switch off and save energy for our world, for our children, and for our future. Simple things can be done. Only if everyone agrees to do their duty. It is everyone's duty to help the world, the animals, and us. <coughs> to help, we just need to use less fossil fuels, increase the efficiency of renewable energies, follow the rules of the three R's, reuse, reduce, recycle, and control deforestation. Only one species can help all the other species on the earth. It's time for us to act now. Good afternoon, my name is Fong and my letter is A for Animal Extinction. Animals are becoming rarer and extinct because of hunting, habitat loss, the illegal wildlife trade, and climate change. There are seven stages to extinction, as you can see from the slide. CR, critically endangered, means that without human's help, the species will become extinct in the near future. Critically endangered species include orangutan, black rhinoceros, and mountain gorilla. <coughs> Animals that are extinct can never be found again, so it is our job to make sure that extinction stops. Other examples of endangered animals include the Komodo dragon. 
The world's largest living lizard is becoming rare because people think they are a pest and kill them and because of habitat loss. Thumbhair tiger is the largest cat species in the world and they are, are hunted for the fur and their organs which is used to make traditional Chinese medicine. They are on the verge of extinction. The gorilla is one of the rarest crocodile species in the world. It is critically endangered and will soon become extinct in the wild because of overfishing, water pollution, habitat loss, and river construction. These are only a few examples of the great waves of extinction that humans are causing. The rate of the extinction now is greater than when the dinosaurs were wiped out. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kwan, and V is my letter. V stands for victim. Victims, animals, plants, humans, and our beautiful nature will be destroyed by man's actions. This is a poem about the innocent victims of your actions. Children are crying and animals are mourning. Trees are falling down from the selfishness of humans. More cars are being used. Columns about views are all over the news. The disaster is getting cruel. CO2 is roughing through the air, and ice caps are to be cared. Deserts are rapidly growing, and the habitats are disappearing. Extreme weather conditions are increasing, and the currents are rising. The hurricanes are in fury, and the forests are igniting. Cities are drowning, and buildings are sinking. Arctic areas are shrinking, smothering the trees. Do something now, or let the apocalypse begin. Let's seize the day and vanish the gray. Let's plant more trees and set rivers pollution free. Reduce CO2 and let our world cool. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Earth and my letter is E. E is for ecological destruction. Today, man is uncontrollably the first in the earth, permanently destroying natural habitats and scarring the planet. Prediction have been made that 40% of animals and plant species in Southeast Asia could be wiped out by the end of the 21st century. Extinction means forever and every year around 150,000 species of plants and animals become extinct. This is caused entirely by humans. Every time a plant or animal become extinct, we are reducing the genetic biodiversity of life on Earth. A problem in moral issue of wiping out all these organisms. These plants and animals could contain medicine of, for the future health of the human race for my generation. The great forests are also known as the land of the earth, providing a balance of atmospheric gases, taking in carbon dioxide and giving out oxygen, therefore reducing the effect of climate change. With less forest area, the CO2 level will only increase. We can save our earth, we use wood, we choose the use of fossil fuel, and recycle everything that can be recycled. Let's save our world and make it a better place for every living thing, including us. Good afternoon, my name is Laura and my word is our. Our generation can make a difference. Every living thing is born and dies. Our environment must be in harmony, but everybody uses, everybody abuses. Our environment requires our caring for our living, for our home. How would you feel if a stranger walked into your house and started polluting your home and burning your furniture? You would feel angry. So why are we doing it to our home? Your home you care and our home we live. Your home you love and our home we hold. We breathe in oxygen and out carbon dioxide. We pollute and destroy our earth. We take natural resources without a care. We live our life, it is our destiny. This is our earth, ours. It isn't only yours or mine, it is ours. This means we have a collective responsibility to take care of the environment and prevent the widespread destruction that is happening now. So let us save our planet for a better life. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Abraham and my letter is H. And I'm going to be talking about habitat destruction. This is important not only to the animals, but to us humans too. This happens very often which causes animals to get extinct very quickly. Approximately 25% of mammals and 12% of birds may become extinct over the next few decades as warmer conditions alter the forests, wetlands, and rangelands they depend on. 
and human development blocks them from migrating elsewhere. We can change this, but in order to do so, we have to work together as one and stop being careless, selfish, and just recycle more wood so we don't take away the animals' homes. By the time these newly planted trees have become mature themselves to be cut down, it will be our grandchildren who will be doing the cutting, and about 50% of the trees will have been gone by that time if we don't make a change. This is a very disturbing picture, which is supposed to be a wonderful place of natural beauty. As I'm sure you'll agree, this is a much, this is a much nicer image a mu and a much more beautiful place. So please, help us preserve what we have for a better future, reduce climate change to preserve our natural world. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Abu, and my letter is O for ocean pollution. Tons and tons of waste is being dumped in rivers and seas, and is causing lots of problems for the world's ocean. Oil spill, littering, overfishing, plastic, and chemicals are all degrading our ocean and marine life every single day. Corals are dying because of increased tropical temperatures caused by climate change. People are throwing lots of plastic away and which can be carried a long distance by rivers and have severe consequences for the local fauna where they end up. The biggest turtle ever weighed one ton in a length of three meters died because it ate plastic bags it thought were jellyfish. Other plastic waste, much of which could be, could be recycled and which is all produced from crude oil ends up in garbage island, giant plastic island collectively larger than Thailand, floating just under the surface of the water. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is one such example in the extent of the pollution caused by such massive areas of the plastic waste is still being discovered. And these plastic islands are only getting larger. Good afternoon, my name is Mint and the letter is M. M is for myth, and by that I mean the widespread belief that climate change is actually a myth. I believe this to be naive, a head in the sand opinion that absolves us of any blame of the widespread destruction of the environment and alteration of the climate that is happening now. It is also a convenience myth for big and small companies alike. It is convenient for these companies to believe it's a myth, so they can totally disregard the horrible thing they are doing in the name of profit. It seems the whole world today only concerned with making more and more profit, and exploiting natural resources to the detriment of the local population of plants and animals. Businesses want to make profit is understandable, but why do more issues have to be totally ignored? To combat this, People need to be educated on the fact that environmental destruction isn't a necessary part of life, that climate change is happening, and we have the power to do something about it. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hitanchi, and my letter is E. E is for ethics, but in this case, it's unethical business practices. Unethical business practices have a major part in harming the environment. This includes the taking of bribes by regional governors to award permits to cut down trees and also illegal logging of rainforests. Between May 2000 and August 2006, Brazil lost an area of rainforest larger than Greece to illegal loggers. Closer to home, here in Asia, there has been a widespread destruction of the rainforests of Borneo which have been replaced with palm oil plantations. This practice has decimated the local flora and fauna. With 80% of plant species and 80-90% to of mammal, bird, and reptile species becoming locally extinct following forest conversion to palm oil plantations. Not only are we allowing the environment to be destroyed, but we are also forcing the local people into poverty so the multinational companies can make more profit. If we allow this to continue, not only will we have drastically reduced the biodiversity on Earth, but we will have lost areas of outstanding natural beauty forever. As children, we are really concerned about what the, con er, what the condition of Earth would be like when we have our own children, so we would like today's adult generation to help save our Earth. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Nat. As you've heard, we are just as concerned about the global warming and climate change situation as you are. Although, because we are the next generation, this will have a larger impact on us. 
We are aware that you already know about most of the environmental impacts that we have talked about today, but we get the feeling that adults talk a lot about this topic, but don't, get, but don't seem concerned enough to fix the situation at the moment, and may not realize that the damage being done is irreversible. We have tried to give you an insight to what we are worried about in the world today. A lot of this could be reduced if the countries of the world were to take a much needed, serious interest in renewable energy. This would reduce the unwanted production of a huge amount of the greenhouse gases and the, and the other pollutants that cause acid rain, which in turn could help prevent a lot of the problems we see in the world. For example, if it could be properly harnessed, enough sunlight falls on the earth in just one hour to meet world energy demands for a whole year. One wind turbine can produce enough electricity to power up 300 homes. That being said, Plans for positive change are always made for next year's environmental convention, although nothing ever happens over the year. We want this to change, and we want this to change now. We are children at the moment, and we have a huge future ahead of us, or at least we hope we do. We cannot have any hope for our future if our only home is continued to be destroyed like this. Only humans can stop our home from dying at an early age. Even though what you've heard may sound very horrific and dramatic, it is happening right now, and it can be prevented if action is taken now, not next year or the year after that. All of you here have a responsibility to save our planet, so please, save our home. Thank you. So the now generation of the Roger Lancicle, let's hope the youth of today that we're hearing from take what they're saying now and take it forward as they uh, age.